tell you what your role is on this show. I am DJ Nash, and I am I'm the creator of this crazy world. I should say that my parents are probably the creator of this crazy world. I just happen to keep a journal about it. Uh, yeah, and my role is to remember as many things from my childhood as I can. All the things that traumatized me as a kid are now going to uh, help me pay the mortgage as an adult. So. I remember exactly the moment that I thought this should be a show. It was quite a few years ago. It was, I think, five or six years ago. I was in a writer's room, and I was telling Alana Warnick, a writer, a story about um, my dad and I going in the backyard one morning and taking down a tree with a chainsaw, my blind father and I, and the look on her face let me know, like, oh, that may not be everyone's experience. Maybe there's a show here. Maybe we should talk about that. In truth, it's exactly what happened when I was growing up. And all, all parties have signed off, so I can say that. We can call the guy Mel, because it's based on this guy, Mel, who's like a father to me. But in doing this project, uh, it's amazing, but it's also um, in some ways harder than any other show. I've done pilots before, but this one, uh, I'm honoring this love letter I wrote to my dad. So I really want to make sure we get it right. And so far, so good. Um, my dad, I, I, made, I made an appointment with my dad to, before my kids woke up, read the script to him. It was a Saturday morning and I got up at 6 a.m. to read it to him, uh, 9 a.m. Boston time. And as soon as I finished the script, he said, I don't think your mother's going to like this at all. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, okay, and, and I, the one I was worried about was mom, and mom has loved it. There's some things that are so specific to my story, but there's so many things that are universal to America's story. I think um, specific to me is having a, a role model that's this blind guy who went to law school blind and so you can't complain about anything. You know, growing up I'd be like, ah, oh, dad, I'm having trouble with my book report. I went to law school blind. Okay, sorry to have troubled you. But there's this universal idea here that, um, there's this universal idea here that everyone can relate to. That what is a family after divorce? You know, obviously divorce is a, a terrible thing to hit a family, but in the case of the Fishers, it actually brings them closer together. I think that they're given this freedom to find out who they need to be, all four of them.